are in A320 simulator in VA Training Aviation Academy and we are going to show you uh, some of the airplane systems which uh, help pilots to fly and to deal with uh, different failures. Uh, this system, how you could already guess, is ECAM, which consists of two displays and uh, ECAM control panel. So we are going to describe you today how it operates during normal flight operations and during some abnormals. Let's start with normal. During normal operations, upper display, which is called engine warning display, shows us basic information about our airplane and uh, about our engine parameters. The top left corner shows us uh, basic uh, engine information such as N1, exhaust gas temperature, N2, and fuel flow. So if something wrong happens with engine, you will see this at a glance. The top right corner shows that the N1 mode that, that uh, is active now, so the thrust setting uh, which auto thrust is limited with. For now it's flex 86.9%. Fuel on board, flaps configuration. Uh, the bottom left part is used for takeoff and landing memos and some other memos during uh, flight. So for example, if our airplane is uh, fit with ACARS, let's say, and if uh, ACARS are not connected to any ground stations, we will see her here ACARS standby. And the bottom left part is used for other memos about the airplane systems, such as parking brake, as you can see, landing lights, which are switched on now, and uh, for example, if we switch engine anti-ice on, we will see it here. Let's switch it off for now. The lower display, which is called the system display, uh, shows us the information that corresponds to the current stage of flight. Now we are on the ground with the engines running. It shows us wheel page. So on this page we can see the different information about our landing gear and wheels such as pressure in tires, temperature of each brake and so on. If let's say we were at the gate with the engine switched off, here will be doors page which showed us information about slide arming, opened or closed doors and oxygen pressure in the system. Also. On the lower display, we have uh, temperature information, total air temperature and static air temperature, time, which is unfortunately now unavailable on the simulator, and our gross weight. Also, we have an ECAM control panel uh, through which we can choose which system we want to see on the lower display. If lower display displaying some system page automatically, we will not see any lights on this uh, panel. But let's say if we want to see some information about our engines, we will press engines button, the light will illuminate on the push button and we will see basic engine, uh, other engine information. Uh, you can see some other information like bleed, pressurization, electrical and so on. During abnormal operations, ECAM helps pilots to uh, deal with uh, any failure and uh, shows useful tips how to fly the airplane. So uh, this is why we have much less memory items on the Airbus. Because for example, in case of engine failure, we don't have to remember what to do. ECAM will write us everything. I will show you this with uh, engine fire test. So let's press engine fire test button. So you see, in case of engine fire, we will have uh, some, uh, basically the name of failure, engine one fire, and we will see steps which we need to perform. And these steps correspond to each phase of flight. So for example, APU fire steps are different for flight and for ground. During uh, failure, the lower display will uh, show us the system which corresponds for the main failure. So for example, if we have engine fire, we will have engine page displayed automatically on the lower display. 
when we perform all the actions which are listed on ECAM, which are called ECAM actions, uh, we will have to uh, look at the status page, which will appear also automatically if we clear the failure from uh, engine warning display. So status page looks like this. Now we show the aircraft status as normal. Just a second. If it's normal, it will disappear after some time. But let's say if we have something abnormal, we will switch off the packs to show this. We have status notification here. And on status page, we will see pack one plus two in, in operative systems. If we have some tips on how to fly the air, air, uh, airplane or which procedure should we apply, QRH procedure, FCOM or something, we will see everything here. For example, we will switch on elevator and aileron computers and our airplane will go to alternate law. So all the necessary tips for flying will be here on this display, like maximum speed, approach procedure, which flaps should we use and so on. Let's reset it back to normal. Okay, so just to show you how ECAM works on practice, we will fly a short uh, circuit around the Brussels airport with uh, engine failure at V1. Dovidas will be pilot flying, I will be pilot monitoring. We will do ECAM actions like they should uh, be done by Airbus procedures. Let's try it. Before takeoff checklist, please. Before takeoff checklist, below the line, takeoff runway. 25 left. 25 left, confirm. Cabin crew, advised. TCAS. TARA. Engine mode selector. Normal. Packs. Off. Before takeoff checklist completed below the line. Thank you. Advised the tower. Uh, tower BA320, ready for departure runway 25 left. BA320, uh, clear for takeoff, 25 left, wind calm. Clear for takeoff runway 25 left, BA320. Okay, parking brake off. Ready? Take off. Man flex 60 SRS runway out of road blue. Check. Trust set. Communications, ECAM actions. ECAM actions, engine one fail. Thrust lever one idle. Confirm thrust lever one. Confirm. Idle. Checked. No engine relight, engine master one off. BA320, we have engine failure, standby. BA320, that is copied. So M2 is decreasing, EGT decreasing. So no relight. Engine master, confirm engine master? Confirm. One off. No damage, so we stop ECAM. We are above engine out acceleration altitude, you may push to level off. Level off. Checked. Vertical speed zero. Checked. So now we accelerate to green dot speed, retract yep. the flaps, and at green dot speed we will pull for open climb and climb okay. to 3000 feet. I'll just pull the heading. Not speed, so no negative, negative. Yeah. As speed, flap zero. I suggest. Okay, flap zero. Speed checked. Flap zero. Now, uh, yeah. 
you may pull for open climb. Green uh, button. Climb. Pull it, yeah, pull out it. Open climb. And open climb. Lever MCT. Back to climb and MCT. Oh. Good. FMA. Uh, thrust MCT. Checked. Another thrust. So, you may ask direct to Flora, Vila, for approach for runway 25 left. B320, request direct to Flora, VOR for approach. B820, climb and maintain 3000 feet, proceed direct to Flora, VOR, expect other approach to 5 left, report over Flora. No report over Flora, proceed. Next, uh, runway 25 left. Okay, nav on FMA, 3000 is blue, and uh, I will continue the connections now. Okay. Okay, uh, we consider no damage as we have N2 rotation and N1 rotation. And uh, if no damage, engine 1 relay initiate. We will just consider it and try to do this later. Fuel cross feed, we will just record the fuel and monitor it. 700, 1920. I recorded the fuel. Okay. Okay. Clear engine one? Clear. Okay. Secondary land ASAP Ember air bleeds. So uh, engine one bleed veil will bleed uh, valve is closed. Bleed from engine two is supplying the system. Clear bleed? Clear. Generate uh, electrical. Generator 1 is off because of engine shutdown. Generator 2 is supplying the system. Do you want APU? APU, please. Starting the APU. Okay. APU starting. Clear electrical? Clear. Good. Status. Stop. Say stop status. Stop the, status. Yeah. We stop before the status to read all the paper checklist with what we have remaining and consider realized system reset and so on. So we have a checklist pending. Yeah. Okay. After takeoff climb checklist. Check. Landing gear. Up. Flaps. Uh, retracted. Backs. Uh, on. on. And battle reference. KNH1015. Uh, correction, KNH1015. KNH1015. After takeoff climb checklist completed. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, in real life now we would consider engine relight, okay. but now we will not do this just to save time, because we are in simulator and we know that engine is not going to relight. And about the fuel, I will check the fuel now that I recorded. It was same fuel in left tank, so I will open the crossfeed. Fuel, crossfeed, fuel crossfeed on. Okay. It will reduce imbalance between fuel tanks and it will be easier for approach. Okay, the connections completed. Uh, so now my communications after the connections completed. Okay. And we may prepare for landing. It means, uh, yeah. Then approach checklist maybe? Negative. For preparation for landing, again, your communications, I will prepare FMGC for you. Okay. okay. Set. I will activate the approach phase for you. Okay. In real life, this preparation is done by pilot flying. He transfers controls and communications to the pilot monitoring and does this. Okay. But today I did this. Yeah. New secondary failure, hydraulics. Uh, green engine one pump is off and green system is supplied by the PTU. Clear hydraulics? Clear. Okay. Status? Yeah, no changes. Remove status? Remove. Okay, so for a briefing, 
will be ILS approach to five left, left engine is an operative and uh, normal ILS approach, but after the threshold I will reset rudder trim to zero for you. Okay. So you will feel some pressure on your leg and just uh, fly the airplane, remain on the center line. Okay. Okay. And the brakes will be low. One more thing on runway, apply reverse. Full yeah. reverse and just not on one engine, do it on both engines, okay. whatever. It's off, whatever, do it on both engines. And counteract by rudder. Okay. At 70 knots, you may set it to idle reverse. Okay. Okay, now we are ready for a approach checklist. Uh, just a second. Yeah? Ready? Ready. Approach checklist briefing. Confirmed. ECAM status. Yeah. Check, no blue. No changes, yeah. Seat belts. On. Butter reference. QNH 1015. QNH 1015. Minimum. Minimum uh, 359. Yeah, 359. Engine mode selector? Normal. Negative. One. Only ignition. Oh, ignition. Yeah. Road checklist completed. Okay. We are now ready to try the approach. Okay, I'll report. Yeah, now we just. Uh, Let's report approaching Flora. Okay. And my comps now. So okay. we finish the connections, everything is normal now. Normally at this moment uh, we would also notify the cabin crew about what situation is and what our intentions, so they could notify the passengers. Yeah. Okay, now I will advise ATC that we are approaching Flora VOR and we are ready for approach for runway to Okay. Uh, the A320, we are approaching Flora and we are ready for approach runway uh, 25 left ILS. The A320, you are clear for ILS approach runway 25 left, report established. Clear for ILS runway 25 left, we'll report established, the A320. Okay, so we are clear for approach. Just waiting until the aircraft passes Flora and turns left to intercept them. And you would advise to disconnect the autopilot? Yeah, I will advise it. It will be on final when we are established on descent. Okay. And on flare, set idle at like 25 feet, between 30 and 20. Okay. Because we have just one engine, so we will have. Uh, only one engine at idle, so we will have less thrust, so the speed will drop more rapidly. Okay. Yeah, now you may activate approach mode, yeah. press it, and second autopilot also. Okay, and read FMA, like glide slope. Three, dual autopilot, one plus two. And glide slope and lock blue. Okay, glide slope blue. You see, the Airbus with the uh, engine failure flying with autopilot and with auto thrust. You are yeah. just sitting and enjoying the view, <laughs> even with engine failure. <laughs> enjoying the view? Yeah. For example, on the Boeing, you cannot use auto thrust. Yeah. So you will need to sit and adjust the thrust manually. Yeah. In Airbus, it's different. Reduces the workload. Yeah. You see on, on your bottom left you have India Bravo Lima like ILS yeah. and DME distance. Yeah. We will start with the flaps approximately at uh, 15 miles. Okay. Or even 13. Flight controls. Yeah. It trained the airplane autopilot for a comfortable flight with a minimum drag. It does everything automatically. Yeah. And I'm turning left towards the runway. Ah, it's not inside yet. We're still 17 miles out, so like 30 kilometers.
Yeah, there is a runway, you see. Lights. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, maybe what's <laughs> one? Oh, too early. There is just one engine and more drag than usual. Okay. So airplane will decelerate and it will fly at higher angle of attack at lower speed. Mm. So it's not good for us. At what flap setting we're gonna land in full flaps? Flaps full, yeah. Okay. Everything uh, as usual. Just later? No, just uh, everything is on uh, schedule as, on, uh, as usual. Okay. Okay, for me. Lock, stir. Checked. Let's do flaps one now. Flaps one, please. Speed checked. Flaps one. Status, no changes. Remove status. Remove. When we set flex 1, uh, the status page appears automatically, just okay. as a reminder. Lock. Checked. Flex 2 is going to be when one dot below the glide slope. Okay. Okay, flex 2, please. Speed checked. Flex 2. Right slow. Stir. Check. Right slow? No, not yet. Yeah. Right slow. Check. When we will be approaching 2000 on the radio altimeter, we will go for gear down. Okay. Radio altimeter. Okay. Stay checked. Checked. Yeah. Go around the altitude for us today is 4,000 feet. Go around the altitude 4,000 feet sensor. Check. Yeah, we may go for landing gear. Okay, landing gear down, please. Gear down. Yeah, not clear to land yet. 2,000. Checked. Uh, e three two zero established by left runway two five left. E eight two zero clear to land two five left wind call. Clear to left runway two five left. E three two zero. Landing checklist maybe. Negative. You see? No. Okay. Flips. When we go for flips. Flips. Full. Negative. No flips three. Speed checked. Flips three. Uh, Step one thousand five hundred feet. Flips full. Okay. It will be okay. By the barrel. Or oh, radio. Radio. Yeah. Okay, flaps full. Speed checked. Flaps full. Landing checklist, please. Landing checklist. Cabin crew. Advised. Auto thrust. Set. Speed. Speed, yeah. Auto brake. Uh, low. Decan memo. Uh, stand by. Okay, landing, no blue. Landing checklist is completed. And we are clear to land. Okay. Good. You may disconnect the autopilot and follow flight directors. 1,000. Check. Stabilized. Uh, stabilized. We'll follow flight directors. Yep. Yeah. We are drifting now to the left one. Yeah.
70 knots. And all reverse. Yeah. If you are using manual brakes, so, so brake. Okay, manual brake. Yeah. Check. Okay. Stow the reverses. Like this. Yeah. Good. Set okay. brake. Parking brake. On. Nice landing. Thank you. So you see how it works on practice.